this is a follow-on from the basic Pilates class um, that will challenge your pelvic floor a little bit more. We get, we're starting here in standing. We're going to come down onto the mat with a roll down. So Dervla's just going to uh, follow her hands down her legs, walk her hands forwards onto the mat and come down into a uh, four point kneel position. Here we want to just make sure that we've got this neutral spine and neutral pelvis. So we're just tucking our tailbone slightly to make sure that we've got um, a nice straight spine, making sure that knees are underneath hips and hands are underneath shoulders, um, shoulder width and hip width apart. From here then I want you to activate your pelvic floor so that you've got that core stability, that pelvic stability and then we're going to take the left leg, we're going to slide it along the floor, along the mat and then lift it up to body height, maintaining the um, core stability, taking it back down onto the mat and then sliding it back in. All right, and then we're going to stay on that side. We're going to do it again. So we're going to take that leg out along the mat, bring it up to body height, take it down and then slide it back in. OK, making sure that you're uh, maintaining this length in the spine. Shoulder blades are nice and wide here. So again, we're going to slide this left leg out up to body height, holding it here and then coming back down and then sliding it back in. We'll do two more, adding the breathing in here. So I want you to then take a breath in to start, breathe out as you slide that leg away and bring it up to body height. Start to breathe in, then to take that leg down and slide it back in. Okay, and again. So breathe in before you go, breathe out to lengthen, up. Breathe in to come back and in. Okay, and then we're going to repeat on the other side. All right, so if you need to adjust anything to make sure that um, you're in the right position, that's fine. And then like Dee's just done, just make sure that you're bringing your head up in line with your um, spine, but make sure you're looking down towards the mat to keep that length in the neck. Okay, and again, so activate that pelvic floor. You're going to then slide your leg out, lift it up to body height, hold, and then down and then slide it back in. So do that again. Lovely. And then as we're doing that, consider your breathing. So you want to breathe in to start, breathe out to lengthen and lift. Breathe in to then bring it back down and slide it back in. And we'll do two more on this side. Feel free to do more each side if you want to. Lovely, okay. Maintain this position. If you want to then just have a rest from this position because sometimes wrists can get, get a little bit niggly, you can come back onto your um, legs here um, or you can come down into a child's pose and just sort of uh, rest your wrists. You can take your wrists, circulate them round just to give them a little bit of a rest here um, and out of that position. Do they feel okay? Yeah. All right. So this next one then, we're going to come back into the four-point kneel position. You can change the position of your wrists if you want to. You can pop your um, fists down um, if that's easier for you. Um, there's not so much um, extension on the wrists. Okay, so we're going to bring arms into this equation now. So we're going to leave legs alone. Legs are going to stay where they are. You're going to set your um, position again and activate through your pelvic floor to maintain that position. And then with the left arm, we're going to bring it. So we slide it forwards on the mat and then bring it up to body height and then down and then in. Lovely. And we'll go again. Out, up to body height, down and then in. Okay, and again, working with breathing in that uh, respect as well. So you're breathing in before you start, breathe out as you slide away and come up, and then breathe in to come back, and two, breathe out. Lovely, breathe in. Okay, and then we'll swap sides, okay? 
So uh, moving on to the side, correct any position if you need to. And let's go again. So slight activation of that pelvic floor to maintain that stability, using that arm to come up and forwards. Lovely, bringing in that breathing as well. Good. As these exercises are getting a little bit higher level, you may find that um, your breathing um, is a little bit sort of um, compromised, I suppose, if with you thinking about other things. Just make sure that you're not holding your breath. Okay. All right, so from here then, <clears throat> we are going to stay in four-point kneeling for this last one. If you need to come off your wrists again, please do so. Um, but for the aid of the video, we're just going to keep going. Um, if you um, can then roll your toes underneath you, okay? And here we're going to activate through the pelvic floor again and just get in a little bit um, of a more of an activation through that pelvic floor. We're going to lift up, so we're going to float this pelvis up off the mat so that you're raised up about an inch or so off the mat and then come back down. All right, so bringing in breathing with this because it's more effortful. Breathe out as you float this pelvis up. Breathe in as you go back down. Okay, again, the wrists, you can have your fists down if you need to, um, if that helps. Okay, so by um, pushing through those arms down into the mat, floating that pelvis up, you can feel the activation that you're, you're, you're creating there. We'll do three more. Good. And just if you need to correct anything as you go, please don't rush through them as you're doing them. Slowness is key. All right. And then from here, then D, just come back into a child's pose and just stretch that off a little bit. Okay, so from here, we're gonna come forward then onto our front here. You can have um, a pad underneath your forehead if you want it, um, and your arms here come down towards your side. Okay, so in this um, prone position, so lying on your front, your head is connected to um, the head pad, which will just um, allow the alignment through that neck to maintain. What you want to think about here then is the length of that spine down into this pelvis area. Just tuck that tailbone slightly, which is then going to create that neutral um, pelvis. You want to activate through your core here to maintain that. <clears throat> this exercise we're going to do um, with movement of our legs. Um, single legs you know the movement's only going to be a little bit and and so I don't want you to try too hard and think that it's going to be a big movement okay so we'll start with your left leg here if you can just raise that left leg up lovely and then bring it back down so pelvis stays nice and stable we'll stay on this left side you're just hovering it up off the mat and then hovering it back down Good. Again, thinking about breathing, breathing out as you're lifting and breathing in as you go back down. Okay, lovely. We'll go on to the right side here. Good. So again, do a few more reps each side if you find that more beneficial. We'll do two more. Lovely. And then one more. Great. And then just relax here. Okay. All right. So coming down um, into a stretch here from um, this position, we're going to come into a cobra stretch. So I want you to bring your arms up in front of you here. Let me just take this pad away. Um, and just come down onto your elbows for here. Okay. All right. Stretching out here, um, just the lower back. 
Um, making sure that you've got that um, length through your collarbones. Um, just tucking that chin slightly so you've got that length through the back of your neck so you're looking down onto the mat. Okay, um, and then just hold in this position just to feel that stretch. Okay. Breathe in as you go, don't hold your breath. Okay, and then gently down back to the, the mat. Okay. From here, we're going to come on to our backs. Okay, so we're going to come up into a bridge again. So we're just going to correct our posture to begin with. You just want to tuck your chin in so that you've got that length through the back of your neck and make sure your collarbones are nice and wide. Relax that rib cage down, find your neutral pelvis and um, activate your core. Okay. Bring your knees, no, bring your heels close towards your bottom and then um, we're going to come up into a bridge. So in your own time, um, squeeze that pelvic floor, hold on, come up into that bridge. And then this time with the arms, we're going to take them up and over the head. We're going to relax them down as far as they'll go, as far as your shoulders will allow, and then come back down through the bridge. From here, you'll get a nice stretch through the sides of your body. We're then going to take the arms back over and down by our sides and we're going to repeat. So making sure you've got that activation um, through the, 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 the pelvic floor. So squeeze that pelvic floor as you come up. Release those arms up and over. Lovely. And then maintaining the arms there as you come down through this bridge. And then followed by the arms, making sure that you're breathing as well. So taking that breath in as you come up in that bridge. Good. And then coming back down. Okay. You can go on to repeat as many of these as you want to, just making sure that um, you um, activate through your pelvis, your, your core, um, to hold onto that pelvic floor. Okay. Let's, let's go up a level here. So um, this time then we're going to take our palms outwards um, and then we're going to come back up into that bridge again. And then this time we're going to take one leg out into a, ta into a one leg stretch here and then bring it back in. And then we're going to take um, ourselves back down through the bridge. Okay. And then let's go again. And this time we're going to alternate the sides. So we're going to go on to the other side. Equally, if you find this too difficult, then revert back to just with the arms. You're still maintaining a good level of um, strength there. It's just going within your limits. Okay. Equally with this one, if you want to progress a little bit more, you can stay up whilst you alternate the legs doing the right and then the left leg and um, maintaining that bridge and then coming back down. Okay, so throughout, obviously, just correcting your breathing again, making sure you're not holding your breath. Okay, just do one more then, D. Just making sure that your shoulder blades stay nice and wide. You still tucked your chin so you've still got the length through your spine. <clears throat> and then back down. Okay, lovely. All right. So from here, we're going to come on to um, the abdo prep, which is um, the st staying in this position, and we're going to work a little bit more of our abdominals. You can turn the palms of your hands so that they're down. So what's going to happen here is that this is where we lift up our head and shoulders from the mat. Um, but at the same time, we are um, releasing the arm off the floor to about um, hip height. And our fingertips are going to go down towards our heels. OK, so just relax those arms. Just correct your um, pelvis, sorry, your rib cage here, um, making sure that you've got that neutral pelvis and keeping those collarbones nice and wide. 
You can imagine that you've got a spring from the base of your rib cage here to the top of your pelvic bone here. And as you come up, these springs are shortening. Okay, so we'll go on to do the first one. So arms be coming up hip height, reaching forwards, head and shoulders up, and then back down. Because this is an effortful movement, we want to make sure you breathe out when you come up. So and again, breathing out here, breathing in as you go back down. Just release those arms. Okay, recruiting again. Lovely. What we don't want to see is doming of the tummy. Okay, if you find that your tummy domes, you're not activating um, the core stability, so your pelvic floor, you need to work on that technique first. Okay. All right, lovely. Okay. All right, and again, you can repeat up to 10 times um, just to get the fullness out of that exercise. Um, but again, just making sure that your um, neutral position remains. Okay. So from here, we're going to then take your um, single leg into a tabletop. So a tabletop is when you take your leg up so that your knee is in line with your hip and that your 90 degree angle is here at your knee. Okay. Um, from here, we're going to then take this um, leg into a one leg stretch, which means that it becomes parallel with this thigh and then bringing it back in and then out again. Good. And then back in. So we can make this um, exercise a little bit more tricky um, by lifting those arms up in front of you, fingertips towards the ceiling, just to allow you to have to balance a little bit more through this core. Okay. Okay. And we'll do one more on this side and then we will change over. So you can take that leg back down. Lovely. And then change over. So you're starting that tabletop and again taking it out into that one leg stretch. And if you want to, you can pop your arms up, fingertips towards ceiling as you're doing so. Just making sure that you're not um, deviating from the actual um, uh, posture that you've created. Okay. Okay, all right, so bring those arms back down. The, um, you can make that exercise a little bit more difficult, okay, and I'll just demonstrate that for you. So um, if you bring your leg up into tabletop, okay, making sure that you now, what we call imprint your spine on the mat, okay, so activating through your core just that little bit more to lift up the second leg into that tabletop. Okay, so this double tabletop here now is a higher level, so please be careful. What you shouldn't see is a bit more of a dome in through that lumbar spine. You want to imprint that onto the mat, okay? And from here, you can then take one leg out into a one leg stretch and then bring it back, okay? And you can alternate the sides. Lovely. And then just we'll do one more each side, but this time we're going to pop our arms up again, fingertips towards ceiling, and then taking it out for an extra higher level. Lovely. Okay. And then take those arms back down. We'll take one leg down towards the mat. Lovely. And then followed by the other one. Okay. All right. So from here, let's have a full body stretch. Let's take our arms up and over our head and then lengthen one leg and then the other down onto that mat. Okay, just softening through your rib cage, feel that full length of the body. Take a nice big breath in. And then breathe out, bring those arms round and back towards your side. Okay. All right. So now we're going to um, finish off and do some child's pose um, in four point kneeling. Okay. 
So this time I'm going to um, direct um, Dervla to bring her knees a little bit wider than her hips. Um, and then we'll have a nice deeper then um, stretch through. If that's not suitable, then keep them hip width apart. Come down through, so le leaving your arms nice and long on the mat, and then just relax down through here um, so that you've got a nice stretch through the spine, through either side of your body here, into that lower back and the pelvis. Okay, so just think about that diaphragmatic breathing, balloon in your tummy as you take a big breath in. You're going to um, help to relax that pelvic floor um, and then breathe out. I'm going to change the, the, the stretch slightly. If um, I'm going to ask Dervla to just bring her hands over towards one side, so just so that she's directing her stretch over to this side, so that the opposite side now she can feel a deeper stretch down the side of her body. But again, remain in the tummy um, with that nice big breath. Lovely. And you can hold it there for 20 to 30 seconds, whatever feels comfortable for you. And then you can take your hands back towards the middle and then over to the other side. And again, just focus on what you're doing with your tummy. Just channel yourself in towards your breathing um, and try and um, allow your body to fully let go. Okay, and again, holding that stretch for a suitable amount of time for you. You can then walk your hands towards the middle. Um, and then we're going to leave the mat. So we're going to come back up into that four point kneeling position. And then you're going to take your um, toes underneath you. You're going to walk your hands back towards your knees. You're going to um, tilt yourself back onto your feet and then walk your hands up your legs to come off the mat. From here, just make sure you um, stretch out through those collarbones so you're elongating through those collarbones. Um, take a nice um, big breath in. And then as you breathe out, imagine there's a helium balloon at the top of your head pulling you up to the ceiling. And then just tuck your chin slightly to lengthen through your neck. 